Hello and welcome to Learn to Love Games where today on a Sega Mega Drive I'm going to answer life's question who is better, the Rolling Stones or the Beatles at Worms when I'm controlling the Rolling Stones and the computer, uh, well a 1990s computer is controlling the Beatles so it's not exactly science but here we go, upstairs Paul McCartney, not Paul McCartney, Mick, I was going to say Mick, oh, Mick Jagger Done my research here, and Paul McCartney takes a bazooka to the back of the head. Right, here comes John Lennon. With a grenade. He's certainly not giving peace a chance here. And destroying the yellow landscape here. And Keith Richards. Continuing this assault on Paul McCartney right now. Oh. And he misses. Uh, but knocks a little bit of health off Ringo Starr. So not all is not lost. And here comes Paul McCartney. With his famous fire punch. Early signs are good for both about the same, the red bar at the top nothing between them Here comes Charlie Mr Dependable and he lobs a grenade at John Lennon which narrowly misses do any damage at all? no, oh, George Harrison he's um, hiding away down there there's his guitar Gently weeps. I can't actually remember the exact. Is it my one? Anyway, he messed up. <laughs> and here comes Ronnie Wood. I think the smallest member of both bands. He's. What's he going to do? He's got Paul. And who's the other one? George. This is obviously pre-recorded. This is and oh, it is George Harrison there with Paul McCartney. Yeah, pre-recorded. I played this a few weeks ago and um, decided to just talk over the top of it, talk nonsense over the top of it with some interspersed with some bad Beatles and Rolling Stones bands. Um, and this is Lennon's Love Games. Not always. Well, this is the first Beatles or Stones content I think I've done. Um, yeah, this is actually on an old Mega Drive, my um, original Mega Drive, believe it or not. Oh, he's just hurting himself up there. He didn't mean to hurt anyone now or make them cry. Uh, who have we got now? Has we done the full rotation? As uh, uh, Jumping Jack Flash here, Mick, McCar Mick McCarthy, <laughs> the um, ex Wolves manager and Ireland manager. Rains terror from above on John Lennon, Mick Jagger, Dartford's finest. Oh, got a lot of fire punches early on here. And that is the end of. Who was that the end of? George. Oh, that was Keith as well. Dear me. Also, Dartford's finest. Charlie Watts up there staying out of the truck action. Taking a look at John Lennon, thinking, is, is that the move? Is that the move he makes? Oh, he knocked the microphone over there. It's all John. And Charlie Watts does miss you, which doesn't cause much satisfaction. Ringo, not oh, he's, he's knocked someone out of the game. That could have been the end of, yep, yeah, that was the end of uh, Mick, I think. Really keeping up with the action here. It's a professional outfit. This. Uh, 
yeah, and this won't be a, a uh, maybe it will be, I don't know, but it's just a bit of fun. I was about to say, I won't be doing this again, but you never know. I don't think the uh, Mega Drive saves the teams and the amount of hassle it is to rename all your little worms. Is it worth it? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, so saying little worms, I do like the uh, old look of worms. <laughs> you know, the um, Paul, there he goes, Paul McCartney. Yeah, that's why I was thinking Mick McCartney. Um, I love the old look, I do like. It's something they've never really revisited there. After this, they got their bulbous heads, which I do, you know, I don't hate. But there's something of a charm in this sort of 16-bit era. The Amiga look. Oh, that was the end of the first round. It ended with very little fanfare. Let's hope the Beatles can come together and get a good result here. Uh, straight away, John Lennon taking a fire punch to the face on top of some Norwegian wood. Funny one, it doesn't give you any. I mean, I've got so many. Uh, I think that's uh, well. I'm going to say it's stupid graphics over the top of this. I can't actually see what's going on. I don't know who this is. This looks like the sort of thing I'd do. Yeah, it's Keith Richards. The Midnight Rambler. That doesn't make any sense. Ignore that. Paul McCartney taking a shot at. Uh, Mick Jagger, um, Mick Jagger hoping someone would give me shelter. I mean, these aren't getting any better, are they? Oh, what's the what's the play here? What is the play here? A terrible airstrike. That's the play. Except George Harrison, Charlie. He's been dependable, but not been the best shot. Bazooka straight at George Harrison's face. Ringo Star. Well, he likes to be by the sea, and that's where he is. And he's teleporting right next to Ronnie Wood. There's so many names up there, big names too. And it is well, John and Paul together. That's what you like to see. And you don't like to see them together with a rolling stone with a stick of dynamite with him. Help. <laughs> they need somebody. Actually, that one actually did work. That could be the end of not one but two worms. No, Paul McCartney lives. But we lost another worm there. Right, Paul McCartney wants to play here. Interesting move. There was something about that one. Who have we got now? It's Mr. Blowtorch. I think it could be Charlie. No, it's not Charlie's underneath a rock. I think that is Keith falling around. George Harrison. Teleporting. They love to teleport these beetles. Charlie Watts. Play here. He'd be a brave man to take the uh, bazooka. Maybe a bit of um, um, blowtorch action. Okay, 
he's in a good position here and he uses the dynamite, jumps off the tree goes down back by the sea Ronnie Wood takes a nasty hit there um, why is the play here? George Harrison It is, but you can talk nearer to Keith. The Rolling Stones are falling apart here. Who is that? Paul McCartney just firing a missile at himself. Na 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 na. Who have we got next? Keith Richards. Well, the play here is George Harrison. He surely can't miss you. <laughs> he does. He does. It's only rock and roll. He's a terrible, sorry. I was doing better ones yesterday. Okay, Charlie's got himself in a bit of a hole here. And but yeah, we'll teleport over to that box. Yeah, in the thick of the action here. The Beatles are just slightly behind the stones in terms of health. But ahead of them in terms of intelligence and people, I think. Ronnie Wood has taken a battering. A positioning, I'd say people. He's just firing bullets at a tree. Okay, George Harrison. Now Keith surely can't miss this shot. Yeah, that's a sad sight. Right, don't let me down. I think I've already done that one. We can go. Taking the long and winding road to victory here. He's bedded in like a tick. I mean, that's not even a. That's just. Oh, hello, my microphone's aiming at the sky. It's been a. Oh, what's this? <laughs> what is the plan here, CPU? saying give me shelter but there is no shelter from Ronnie Woods bazooka anyway this is learning to love games um, like I say don't normally I think the first time I've played a Worms game I might play more I don't know I've had a good time with it or watching myself yeah I enjoy the original 16 bit Worms Fun. I don't think the audio sounds a bit weird. I mean, that's the way I'm um, connecting it up. Is it a hum or something. Maybe it's not stereo. But anyway, I'm t talking over all the action here. Ringo Starr's having his health chipped away. Yeah. As he shoots Ronnie Wood out of the action, Charlie should have the chance to finish this. Oh no, Keith will. Cheeky little bazooka. No. <laughs> oh, that was a, a decent in the end, cast the ball. Keith punished for his ineptitude. Alright, Charlie, has he got the chance to finish it off here? What's he going to do? Oh, inspired by Ringo Starr's use of a cluster bomb. I think that might be it. Yep, that second one straight to the back of the head. 
was the end of Ringo Starr and the end of this not so scientific experiment to see who's better at worms, the Beatles or the Stones. The Beatles won, no they didn't, the Stones won, but the winners morally look like they're the Beatles. George Harrison, Ringo and John taking up all of the awards. Anyway, yeah, there you go, that's been Learn to Love Games. If you've enjoyed this or any other videos on Learn to Love Games, please like and subscribe and um, yeah, have a nice day.